My name is Eita Medina and I'm the Chief Business Officer at Habana Labs. I'll be talking today about the Gaudi-based Amazon EC2 training instance uh, that is launching um, by first half of this year uh, and is an AI training solution for the data center and cloud. I'll provide an overview on Habana and then dive into the details of the Gaudi-based solution. Habana was founded in 2016 uh, to develop purpose-built AI processors. We launched our first solution uh, for inference in 2018, followed by a training processor. Uh, we got acquired in late 2019 by Intel, and today inside Intel, Habana is leveraging Intel scale in addressing the data center and cloud. Accessing Intel ecosystem and customer partnership allows Habana to drive aggressive roadmap that is optimized for the data center and cloud with a specific focus on performance and efficiency. Habana has two product lines. One product line on the right is the Goya product line uh, that is an influence solution. And Gaudi is our training solution. Gaudi was productized in 2020 and for the remaining of the talk, I will focus primarily on the Gaudi solution. Gaudi is an OCP OEM compliant mezzanine card that is designed specifically for efficiency, flexibility, and scale. This new class of AI training solution is purposely designed for data center and cloud applications and is aimed at providing a cost efficient AI training that uh, also allows flexibly a uh, model migration for customers using uh, other architectures and provide scalability in both the hardware and software. Last December, uh, Amazon announced its plan to introduce for the first time a Gaudi-based training instance. This is the first non-GPU solution and by launching Gaudi, Amazon is looking to provide up to 40% better price performance compared to their current GPU-based EC2 instances for training deep learning models. The EC2 instances that we launch will feature up to eight Gaudi accelerators. The Gaudi-based instance will benefit from the full stack of the Amazon EC2 services from deep learning AMIs, containers, and eventually SageMaker that will launch together with the instance. Developer will be able to access Gaudi through Amazon ECS and EKS for containerized application. And the instance will support a wide range of machine learning workloads for applications, including natural language processing, image classification, object detection and segmentation, and recommendation systems. For scaling across instances, the instances will support the AWS Elastic Network Adapter. Let's dive into the architecture of Gaudi and understand how is it architected and optimized. Gaudi introduced a heterogeneous compute architecture that combines configurable centralized gem engine for Matrix Mat and a fully programmable Tensor processor core that was designed, from, designed by Havana from the ground up. Gaudi also includes a software managed memory architecture that includes 32 gigabytes of HVM memory, which allow easy migration from GPU based architectures. A very differentiating feature of Gaudi is that it's the only, the only processor that natively integrates 100 gigabit Ethernet Rocky interfaces. Gaudi includes 10 ports of 100 gigabit Ethernet on the processor itself. This integration allows eliminating bottlenecks and provides ability to scale using Ethernet for both inside the server across uh, Gaudi's, which is scaling up, as well as scaling out across nodes using Ethernet. Gaudi, by in integrating the 100 gigabit Ethernet interfaces, Gaudi affords using proprietary interfaces and proprietary uh, silicon for switching between Gaudi's 
and overall lowers the total system cost and power uh, uh, as opposed to other architectures that use discrete GPU components. A, a very important emphasis in Gaudi architecture is how it's architected for allowing flexible and easy model migration. Gaudi software stack integrates with TensorFlow and PyTorch, so developers could enjoy the same abstraction they are accustomed to today. And underneath, uh, Gaudi includes a powerful graph compiler that generates the optimized binaries uh, that implement the model topology on Gaudi. For customization, customers that are used to developing their own kernels will also find an LLVM-based TPC-C compiler simulator and debugger that facilitate development of custom kernels that could augment the Habana kernel library. Gaudi is balancing compute and memory, memory resources on chip, integrating 32 gigabytes of HBM2 memories similar to GPUs will ease model migration for customers who are used to this architecture, such that most models will fit into Gaudi memory. And scaling between Gaudi devices is enabled by the integration of Ethernet ports with support for all-to-all -all connectivity between the eight Gaudi devices inside the server. Developer we can expect access, and actually it is open today for developers, for reference models, kernel examples, and how-to guides in guiding them on migrating to the Gaudi architecture. Support from the Habana team is available for both GitHub and the community forum. And in the next few slides, I'll provide more details on the developer resources. Gaudi, Framework support includes TensorFlow and PyTorch, which are the most popular frameworks. And the initial model libraries cover models for vision application, natural language processing, as well as recommendation systems. These models are, are used across wide uh, segments of the industry for multiple applications. We can see manufacturing, retail, medical application, transportation, etc using a wide variety of models and our reference models is our library provide a good starting point for uh, developers to uh, leverage value. Natural language processing enables a wide set of applications as well. And here you can see a few of those. Again, accessing to these models is open and available over our GitHub. One of the important elements of Gaudi is enabling an improved price performance. Of course, the price performance will be available for end users after the EC2 instance pricing is published. And over here, you can see the throughput uh, of Gaudi in training ResNet 50 uh, under TensorFlow for 1, 8, 16, and 32 Gaudi. Again, we are not claiming this is the highest throughput per accelerator. What we are indicating is that Gaudi solution could provide an attractive price performance for AWS customers. Now let's talk about the software resources and support. Synapse AI is Habana's unified software infrastructure and tools and includes the graph compiler and runtime, as well as the underlying Linux kernel drivers and various libraries. The Synapse AI is used for both our Goya and Gaudi products. And on the left side, you can see the TPC tools that could be useful for the expert developers who may wish to develop their own kernels. The TPC tools include all the compiler, assembler, debugger, performance profiling tools for developing uh, kernels using a C language and can augment the Habana library. This native integration of Synapse AI with the frameworks provides an easy path for users to take their training scripts and with typically with minimal changes uh, to run them on Gaudi. And as I mentioned, advanced users can write their own custom software kernels that can augment the Habana kernel library. 
If we double click on the software suite details, uh, we, we could show how, how the software is structured to do that. On the top, you can see the TensorFlow and Python bridge uh, that are integrated with the Habana Synapse AI and are optimized to, uh, for running uh, directly on Gaudi. This way, customers can use the same abstraction they're using today. Underneath the framework bridge, we see the graph compiler and runtime, as well as the, Hama the Habana communication libraries. The Habana communication libraries includes HCL, which allows users to scale across Gaudi devices at any scale, as well as the Habana HCCL, which allows users to enable Gaudi integrated NIC for scaling up and host NIC for scaling out using nickel compatible APIs. Both options are available. The Havana kernel li library provides support for wide and growing list of nodes and operators. Uh, the library is updated with the Havana software release every six to eight weeks. And on top of the Havana kernel library, you customers that are accustomed to develop their own kernels can augment the library using the TPC tools I mentioned. Habana also includes the embedded software and the monitoring software that is used to integrate it into the data center monitoring uh, and management tools. Habana developer platform includes important resources for end developers to access all the software documentation and models. At developer.habana.ai, customers can find the Habana, the pointers to the GitHub, where uh, you can find an open access to repositories, including getting started guides, software setup and installation, the reference model I mentioned, as well as regular updates with the Habana software roadmap. Uh, as I mentioned, software releases are coming every six to eight weeks. And we expect GitHub to be our primary support channel. Habana engineers will monitor and support GitHub uh, issues and requests. The forum will allow developers to have a dialogue and find answers to questions in collaboration with the developer community. And in order the documentation section, uh, people can find a web-based documentation of our full software stack, training materials, and, uh, and other uh, resources. Over at the vault, Customers can find access directly to the Habana collateral and software releases and uh, be able to access everything they need in order to uh, update their own servers in case they are they got access to them directly or uh, using the software on top of the Amazon EC2 instances. So this was the high level overview of Gaudi. For additional information, please go to Habana.ai. Gaudi is your solution for AI training for efficient, flexible, and scalable training solution. Thank you very much.